Hey what's going on guys this is Ali and this is part 6 of this video series in this tutorial we will learn how to change the telerik theme because telerik provide a lot of themes so that you can easily change the look and feel of your application after this we will change the interface of our application and will make our application responsive so let's flip to visual studio go to the solution explorer and right click on your project select telerik ui for asp.net mvc and click on configure project this will display all the themes that Taylor provide so I will select Nova press next and press finish ok now save the changes and run the project So we have successfully changed the theme of our application. Okay. Now first of all we will change the color of header. Okay. So open the index page. This will change the color of header. Save the changes and refresh the browser. Okay. Now we need to increase the width of side panel. So flip to Visual Studio and increase the width of three ten pixels. now add html attribute here in date picker copy this line and paste it here save changes and refresh the browser this will increase the width of the both date pickers ok and now I will change the style of these images create a style section in index page Within employees class, I will access the image img order will be two pixels solid and the color will be this and the border radius will be 100%. Save the changes and refresh the page and see the effect ok it's looking good now now I will change the style of this image to do this copy this ID from here copy these two lines from here and paste it here Save the changes and refresh the page. Now it's looking perfect. Okay. But guys, we have still a problem in responsiveness. Uh, if I resize the browser, the grid is not responsive. Okay. So we need to resolve this issue. To achieve this, go to the Solution Explorer and open up the Index View under the Invoice folder. First remove this sale person from here because it is already displaying at the top of the page. Okay. After this add a property here. Then 
This means that the column will no longer be displayed on screen sizes less than 900 pixels. So copy the same property from here and paste it here and the screen size will be 768 okay save the changes and refresh the page now resize the browser and see the result now it's perfectly working if you want to display a specific amount of rows in data grid you can also control this so to do this in index page add another property here dot page size will be 8 only 8 rows will be displayed in the data grid save changes and refresh the browser and see the result now only 8 rows are displaying in the data grid that's it for today guys this was the last tutorial of this series I hope you have enjoyed and learned something new. You can download the complete project from my Google Drive account. Link is given in the description. Please rate, comment and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.